We're recording. Yeah. I'm hey, I'm Max Lamana, and today we're making meatless meatballs, and I'm drinking tea because it's around four o'clock, and that's what people do in the UK. They drink tea. The first thing that we're gonna need to do is cut an onion. Take the skin off and save the skins. As I've told you so many times before, save your skins because you can make a veg stock. She loves me. She, she loves me not. She loves me. Yes. She loves me. She loves me. We're gonna dice our onion really finely because we don't want big chunks of onion in our meatballs. Right guys? No. No, no way. No. So thinly dice our onion. And if you need to, go back over it again and make it as small as you can. That looks good to me. You know what time it is? Bench scraper time. Really making a thing out of this. They say there's tricks of like making sure that you never cry when cutting onions. I've heard of like placing a wet cloth in your mouth. Yeah. That doesn't work. Three cloves of garlic. Peel your garlic cloves. Same thing as the onion. You don't want to bite into big chunks of garlic. Certainly I don't. And I don't think you guys want that either. So I'm going to save us all that trouble and mince now for the next 30 seconds while I cry. Bring goggles. Do you see my eyes? You turn, I'm lit. It feels like I'm about, to, I'm going to, my eyes are quite watery, aren't they? Yeah. I just love food. In the fridge, I have meat, plant-based meat. I have some plant-based sausage, and I also have some plant-based minced meat. How crazy does that look? The great thing about this is I can touch everything now because it's not an animal product. So, onion and garlic, and it goes. Don't put too many onions in the sauce. And these are gonna be the Best meatballs you ever had. Meatless meatballs. Breadcrumbs, tamari or soy sauce, oregano. Let's add some red pepper chili flakes. A little bit more. A generous, generous pinch of salt. And some black pepper. Ooh, parsley, forgot about the parsley. Where you at, parsley? There he is. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that much. And I'm gonna finely dice our parsley and our stems. You can go dry parsley if you want to, but I like to have the fresh parsley in this dish. It just brings out a different flavor than in the dried. Fresh parsley. All right, we'll have to roll up our sleeves for this one. And just mix everything together. Come and get it. Come and get it, boys. See that? You like that? Mm. The number one comment I get on Instagram is, why do you call things meat? Or why do you call things with chicken? Why do you call things with an animal-based name? My one response to all of that is, hot dogs. You know what hot dogs are, right? There's no dog in them. <laughs> so, come and get me. Come at me, bro. <laughs> don't come at me. I really don't like the comments. <laughs> and then you are. One meatball. I'm gonna wash my hands, I'll see you in a sec. We're gonna add oil. Some good extra virgin olive oil to a skillet. Now you can go quite generous here. I also got some pasta water going on in the back, because I'm gonna add some pasta in a little bit. Let's get our meatball. <sighs> Place the whole meatball. Let's... Take about, yeah, golf ball size. Something like this. Yeah, you have to work fast here. So as soon as I drop this, I'm just gonna keep going. And what's gonna happen is that some are gonna finish before others. Then you work in that rotation. So as soon as you drop, you end, you'll work back around and you just keep going in the clockwise rotation. Hopefully I know my left and my right, I know clockwise, counterclockwise, and I can keep, keep things moving. So wait for that sizzle. I'm gonna fry the meatball 
for about three to four minutes. I want to say on each side, but there's no sides to a meatball. Maybe rotating about three or four times. Five, 10, that's 11. And I am going to put 12. I'm going to go one more. Woo! And as I rotate, the other sides will be cooked. Look at that. Let's rotate these one more time. And now you, they could just roll. Roll, meatballs, roll. So turn off your heat. Meatballs are done. I'm gonna go, go and add our other cooked meatballs back into the frying pan and keep them warm. 20 meatballs, baby. That's a spicy meatball. Leave that, let it hang out, let it cook. And let's make a tomato sauce. We're gonna let our meatballs hang out and now we're gonna make a tomato sauce. We just cooked our meatballs and now we're gonna make a tomato sauce. We just cooked our meatballs and now we're gonna make a tomato sauce. We've just cooked our meatballs, now we're gonna make a tomato sauce. I've just cooked my tomato sauce, now we're gonna make a meatball. Gotcha. <laughs> we're gonna go right into it. Polpa, some crushed tomatoes. Bring that to a low heat. And I'm just gonna take a garlic clove and I'm going to take a microplane and just go in with it. So the reason why I'm adding the garlic now to the tomato sauce once it's been warmed up is because if I heat the garlic first, the garlic will be a little bit sweeter, it'll be a little softer. This I wanna keep that pungency, that garlicky flavor throughout this tomato sauce. And we're just gonna heat this up for about five minutes. Let's go in and add a pinch of salt and some black pepper. Let's add some pepper chili flakes because we live on the edge. Taste tester? Anyone? Blow on it. <laughs> Slap it. Mm. Delicious. Mm. Really, was it? <laughs> yeah, fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> I like that. Cool. Hello, I'm ready for the pasta. Let's go. Take your pasta, like so. Give it a twist in your hand and drop. Cook the pasta until it's al dente, of course, right? I'm gonna let this pasta cook, and then I'll meet you back at the island for our plating up. Ooh, what's that? <laughs> Got the smallest little noodle. <laughs> it's not there. Let's strain our pasta. Yes. Add the tomato sauce to the pasta. Give that a stir. Mix everything together, because that's how we do it. Over with our meatballs. Look at that. Pasta night is served. Just some fresh parsley to go on top, give it a little color. And some extra virgin olive oil. Oh, I almost forgot. Some vegan Parmesan. Voila. An easy, delicious, stress-free meatball. Yes. Meatball. Hot dang it, that thing is delicious. Like and subscribe. Mm. Mm. This reminds me of Sunday evenings back home, spaghetti and meatballs. Thanks, Mom. <laughs>